it's almost like a game to try and figure out what people actually want. So I have like a handful of pretty general questions that I usually ask people. But then I also look at the subtleties. They might be telling me something, but like touching their hair in a certain place or like putting something this way. And I can tell like, okay, well that's bothering you about your hair. My name is Sophia Athena Carney, and I am a licensed hairstylist, barber, and salon owner. I was tired of being limited in other people's spaces. I couldn't do all the things for men's grooming that I wanted to, which was seemed so silly to me. I just wanted to do the services I wanted, how I wanted with my clients, and I was also just frustrated giving away so much of my money to somebody else. This is a live work space, so a typical day is definitely a little different than if I were to go into a freestanding space. I didn't want anyone to feel like they were walking into my bedroom. I want everybody to walk in here and feel really comfortable. Just kind of like we're hanging out and you're gonna get a really fast haircut. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. How have you been? Uh, I've been good. good. Definitely need a trim. So last time I saw you was about a month and a half ago. So yeah. Maybe Take it back about that and then taper it down around your neck. Make you nice and sexy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. I have very loyal clients that were so happy for me to be setting out and doing this all on my own and really only wanted to see me succeed. My first week where everything was really busy, I didn't have time to like eat or like do anything. I was just so overwhelmed with everything. One of my clients came back and, and brought me dinner and that just really sunk in. People are here for me and want me to succeed. I had been in places with receptionists and different things like that. Now, being on my own, where I'm the only one checking people in and out, and clients are waiting for me to cut their hair, and things are failing, and I'm not great at troubleshooting. Starting out, I'm wearing all the hats. It can be exhausting, but the payoff is fantastic. I am my own boss. I make my own schedule. I can't believe that I just get to, like, do what I want, you know? I'm more of a creative person rather than a business savvy person. The creative freedom that I've been able to build for myself. With GoDaddy, being able to have my own website and have it look clean, professional, and something that can be easily pulled up and accessible is really important. I couldn't believe how easy it was for me to use and make a website myself. It was just click and go. Like I could just kind of input my own bio, my own things. My clients love my website. They always tell me how easy it is to use. It's definitely simplified a lot of things. I always want to be moving forward and create what I want when I want. Success for me is definitely creative freedom and perpetual progress. Mm -hmm.